During my introduction, I was going to say that you are, you are a wife and a proud mother. And then um, in an era where right now it's like we're losing the essence of marriage and family, you've been in this industry for over 25 years. How have you been able to keep your family and career? I'm sure there are a number of times when um, issues from your career would have rocked your boat a bit. How were you able to keep that? Well, I mean... It, it depends on you and what you count important or, you know, in your life. Um, we all went to school at some point and uh, we did the economics thing, you know, the skill of preference and all of that. Um, so in life, you, you have to adapt to that. You have to have your skill of preference and what is most important at what time or whatever. Um, so you would, you would naturally pay more attention to the things that matter to you and um, you would need to learn to compromise here and there. As a woman, and as an African woman, I always advocate that every woman should work, um, irrespective of what work means My to name you. is Adaigwe. You put your hands on a child. I am a lawyer. A motorless class was, um, was, was wow. It was interesting. And this is one thing I would take from it. Be bold. Don't allow anyone pressure you to do what you don't want to do. Change. First of all, I grew up on your movies. So this is like a eureka moment for me, uh -huh. having to sit down to talk to you, I mean, watching you growing up. Yeah, yeah. And then, so contrary to public opinion that um, actors are some loose people from the classes that I attended today, you were stressing much on values and helping people to uphold values. When did that, all of that conversation start for you? Pretty much all my life. I mean, I got into acting at the age of uh, 16. And um, I came from a background where I had lost my father. And my mother was very, very uh, particular about what I was going into and how it was seen in the public. And I realized that the problem was everyone thought acting was not a job. It was uh, a hobby for no duels and people who didn't have anything else to do. I, I just left school. I don't have anything else to do. But as time went on and I started to see that this was a profession I really wanted to do, that I enjoyed it and I was good at it, that challenge came up. And I, I, I never wanted anyone to think me less than any other professional. Um, I went to good schools. I have friends and so in other, other professions. And I wanted them to respect me just as much as they respected themselves or people to respect me as much as they respected them. And so I thought that was a responsibility I needed to do. So uh, even pretty much more than them. I wanted to be respected more than them. Mm -hmm. And um, by God's grace, we are achieving that. We have not achieved it already. And so it's very important for me to impact that into others and to make sure that they see themselves that way and uphold, uphold that as well.